Oh, I noticed and I got something sticky in my floor. I look like a troll. You know, from trolls. But I did my hair some kind of way. I did it last year. I look like Winnie from Hocus Pocus. So I need to recolor my hair because that's what I'm going to be this Halloween. Yeah. Um, I'm working on my second cup of coffee. I'm ending, I'm uploading Wednesday's vlog. I got to talk quiet. She's still asleep. It's her day off. Um, I'm in the process of uploading. I have to bring my computer into the uh, dining room so it can get better Wi-Fi. I don't know. It can get a better internet connection and um, connect quicker. I'm finishing off that pot of coffee. That man was sweet enough to leave me two cups. He knows I am about my coffee. That or I'd have to make a pot. And I'll have to make a pot later anyway. I put, and I know you're supposed to drink this on its own. I got it from Aldi's. Um, I was trying to use it as a creamer because this stuff was expensive just to drink. I'm not a fan. Use it. I love pumpkin spice anything. Um, especially like drinks. Now, I am not one for pumpkin pie. You can keep your pumpkin pie. You can keep your sweet potato pie. And I know we're in the south. But no, thank you. No. Um, it's the texture. Uh, it, it, it's a texture thing. Um, I'm going with my good old standard a little caramel. I'm not one for the chocolate. Um, so I'm getting my second cup going. I'll probably wind up giving that pumpkin spice to Becca. My other one I got was the peppermint bark. Yes. I've got my, my agendas today. My frogs that I've got to eat today. Look at this hot mess. Of a refrigerator. I still have to bag up cheese that I got from my Walmart haul. I, I had to throw away strawberries that sat in here and molded. Yeah. Threw them away. Made me so mad. Tonight we're doing tacos, so I've got that out for that. I need to um, put my grapes in my produce thing. I've got to figure out sour creams, which ones are good, which ones are bad. Y'all, this cream cheese. That strawberry. Yes, ma'am, all day long. And then the um, pumpkin spice. Now, that is good. Not one for the creamer, but that. That'd be good. <laughs> So, I need to just clean out, organize, clean the doors out. Last night, as I was laying in bed, um, like I said, I had that nap, but I didn't get to sleep till, I mean, I didn't wake up till quarter of six last night. I had no problems going to sleep, but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that paper plate. I, uh, stayed up till 10. You see, what, me and Fat Man will get in bed by 9, 9.30. We go on to bed. Um, last night it was 10. He went to bed about 8.30. Um, I didn't stir this. I can tell it's, Yeah. How do they do those designs in them? I guess this is why I'm not a barista. I got the bun for it. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Oh, that's much better. And I'm trying so hard. 
I am walking around the house without my walker. I know, that's a no-no. What are you going to do? Oh, there is Toot in his little cat house. I got him. Isn't he cute? It's a little fall house I got from Aldi. They had that one. It's got like the fall leaves and the chimney. And just like the candy corns and the pumpkins and the mums. That that was the skeletons. I did not like the skeletons and ghosts. I just like the nice, pretty, yeah, fall day. And he is in it and loving it. He loved his Christmas one. Man, he had that Christmas one we got last year. Didn't even know they did fall ones. But we got him the Christmas one last year. And it lasted till about February, March. Yeah. Yeah. He finally busted out the sides. Somebody had said put clear packing tape. Just tape it all up with clear packing tape. And they can't bust out the sides. So, I might do that. Because I'm already starting to notice over here on this side, if you look good, see how the roof, the side is sticking out? Yeah. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah. All right. So, for today's agenda. Oh, how did anybody, did y'all go and do the Proverbs 31 um, Bible study that I'd linked to um, the Facebook page. Did you like that? Um, I remember years back doing it, and it was, it was wonderful. Um, I hate to say that we're going to do another one. I think what I need to do is maybe just look at this mess. Oh, if I take it down, I'll probably scare y'all. Um, I, I'll pray on that. I, I've got to really pray and think about it. Um, if we do anything right now, I'm doing the Make Your Home a Haven by Women Living Well. And I think I linked it to, I think I left a link to it. Look at this. Have you ever, oh goodness. And I debated about getting it all chopped off. That man told me to do whatever I needed to do. Take care of wise on hair wash day. It would be so much easier just to chop it all off. But then again, on just normal days, like today, all I literally have to do is take it down, take my fingers, and kind of scrunch and fluff. And there, I'm kind of good to go. I gotta go to the bathroom and get my stuff. But you see what I mean? All in all, so it couldn't be easier on days that I don't wash it. And I only have to wash it once a week. So, womp, womp, womp. Oh. <laughs> The Bible study. I am trying to think. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to pray about it. Right now, all I can suggest that you do, go to womenlivingwell.org and um, then make your haven a home. It will actually start up in November. 
Um, she's got a link where you can buy the Amazon book. You do not have to. She has got the resources that you need on there that are free that you can either print out or just do from there. Um, as far as like what you read each day, your thoughts. It's just good to have those books. Um, if I had the money, I would order the book. If I didn't have the money, I would just do it from um, the site. I'd just get me a spiral notebook and or one of my little Bible journals and just start writing. Um, I want to say I actually ordered the book yesterday. See, I can't even remember what I did from moment to moment. I was at therapy yesterday and me and my um, infusion nurse were talking about it. I'm trying to look on my phone. Me and my infusion nurse were talking about it. And uh, I can't find my Amazon thing. Yeah, it's gone. There it is. What are you going to do? Keep looking until you find it. Um, and if I sound off, it's because I am. Welcome to Alabama. Um, yes. I did order it. I did order it. I thought I did. I couldn't remember. Um, it was nine ninety nine with shipping, and it's a full week Bible study. Making your home a haven. Um, it is wonderful. Um, used to, this is our 10th year doing it. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we've been doing this for 10 years. And I started out, when she started out her, her very beginning, I was there with her. Um, yes, but I can remember when it was just, you know, like week one, be the light of your home and you would actually light a candle get you a big three wick candle um I will probably go and get a new one I don't know that this smells so good I'll probably use this one there's no sense in buying one I got one uh, this is that cashmere. It is a Glade. Becca got me this for my birthday. It is a Glade three wick candle. She got it at Target. It is cashmere woods. Is the scent. I was looking to see if it said on the bottom. It does not. But I, I, I know. I remember it said Cashmere Woods. Y'all. Run. Go get this candle. It is wonderful. Our daughter. Our other daughter. Maddie. Um, Alice Marie's mama. Said it smelled kind of masculine to her. I don't get that. I get, yeah, I get a flan, like a, I automatically think of like flannel and fireplaces and just curling up with a good book. Um, but girls wear flannel. I wear flannel in the cold winter time. Give me a good old ratty fat man flannel shirt that's good and soft. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in. Um, but th I think that's going to be my candle. But anyway, you need to go out and buy you a three-week candle. 
three wick. Because <laughs> you're going to use it for the whole four weeks. Every morning, you're going to start out, you're going to light your candle. You're going to be the light of your home. And it will tell you why. And trust me, after 10 years of doing this, by the time you get about to the halfway point, you will notice, and I've noticed, well, let me finish this thought. You will notice your home has changed. The feelings and the dynamics and the attitudes of everyone in your home, even though you have not truly said anything to them, it is just kind of rubbed off on them, I guess you would say. Remember how I said about we can be a shine bubble or a slime bubble? This makes you a shine bubble. Yeah. Yeah. It just... Yeah. It does. And... Excuse me. Okay. Um, it does. It changes the attitude. And I, I have been able to see in 10 years, um, it changes different things on my home for the season. Not, not seasons as in fall, winter, spring, summer. But seasons of, okay, I've got mid-teens, older elementary um, kids. To now, I've got all teens and high schoolers. To now, I've got, you know, kids out of school or graduating, and now they're done. And I have seen how, because of what season of life you're in, it's going to affect that dynamic, but for the better. Um, yeah, yeah. Each week truly has I, I, I just can't say enough stuff about Courtney and, and this study so please think about it pray about it um, even you know even if you can't afford to get the um, I'm going to have to put y'all down my hand can't uh oh there we're crooked but it's okay um, I'm going to put my wide back up for right now it's hot um where was I going with that thought I was going somewhere I don't know where I was going oh the book even if you can't afford to buy the book um through that website you'll be able to get to the free resources you can print out the reading plan or you can just write it down I've been I've been in seasons where I couldn't afford or there wasn't a book I can remember I, I want to say this might be the second year we've had a book we didn't used to have a book when we first started this 10 years ago we did not have a book Um, you just did it. Um, we would get a spiral notebook. Whatever you had, little bound, jar, empty journal, blank journals. Um, we would do it that way. So, don't feel like you have to order the book. Um, it's just good to have. I mean, I'm at a point where... I can't check my computer every day. I can't print it out every day. The least, the least, the less I have to write out, the better. Um, my handwriting has gotten to where it's sketchy at best. Um, yeah. It's just that's the season of life I'm in. I do go... Um, Wednesday of this next week, 
I go to my movement disorder doctor at UAB. Um, she's in charge of neuroscience. Um, me, her, fat man, and even Becca said, because Becca's off that day, Becca said she wanted to go. She could kind of supervise and be with Carol Beth, but she said, Mama, I'll wear my scrubs and I'll go up in there and I'll tell that lady I'll act, I'll act like I were. <laughs> so Fat Man said that he was going to go with me. And uh, he said, Do I need to go off on her like I did that lady on the phone? <laughs> I'm like, You might. <laughs> The one about the Walmart order. I was trying to say, why did he have to go off on somebody at the front? Yeah, that Pakistani, Afghanistani, one of them Stanny ladies um, about my Walmart order. If you didn't see that, you need to go back and watch that one. Because that was, I can kind of chuckle about now. But then, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Anywho, Yeah. Um, we did finally get all that straightened out. Honey, they kept taking money out of our account and putting money back. Taking it out, putting it back. Taking... Wells Fargo finally just put a hold. Stopped all transactions. No withdrawals, no deposits. Nothing could be done until we had to verify each and every transaction that came through for about a week, week and a half. And I finally told them, I said, look, I don't know Walmart, what Walmart's plans are. They took out the wrong thing. They're putting that back. They're going to take out what they need. They're going to put that back. I said, I ain't no telling what's going to happen. I said, all total, it should be this amount. Anything above or beyond that, no. I knew my amount that was supposed to have been. And we did get all that straightened out. Fat Man actually got my groceries that were missing. He went that afternoon, that same afternoon, and went and picked them up, and it was no problem. Uh, and he told me, he said, if you ever, well, at first he told me I was never allowed to do Walmart pickup ever again. And then he made the comment when he got home. He said, if you ever do that again and there's a problem, you call the store. Don't you fool with that customer service. A shoddy. <laughs> a sorry. A, a Siri or whatever her name was. I, I was my, she wasn't from here. She wasn't a Mary Beth Ruth. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know quite a bit of Mary Beth. That's why Carol Beth keep, keeps getting confused with Mary Beth. We know Mary Beth. We know several Mary Beths. We know several Carol Ann's. We know several Betty Ruth's. We know several... Oh, yeah. We got them on. Um, I'm going to ramble. It's going to be another ramble with me. This is my opening monologue for when I've become like Johnny Carson. Hey, y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm getting there. Okay, I am still uploading Wednesday's vlog. So, it is still just kind of uploading. Dark hallway. We're going to turn on the light. It is... There's my stories. She is feeling better. She had us worried like the dickens the other night. Um, Wednesday night. What was today? Yeah. Wednesday night. Um, we, yes. Fat man's birthday. I had done that baked chicken. We had done those baked chicken drumsticks. They were good. Um... And we were afraid she got into some of the garbage, the chicken bones, because she had thrown up like twice. And um, it was after we had cleaned plates and everything. 
and Becca had blessedly cleaned it up. Um, I just don't have the stomach for that, neither does Brian. So Ble Becca had been a blessing and cleaned that up for us. And she said it looked like where maybe the horse had gotten into the garbage and we were afraid she had swallowed some chicken bones because seriously, like right after that, she just got to where she was laying around and not doing anything. She just came in the den and just plopped on the lip, on the on the floor. Usually she'll at least get on her dog bed or you know something. I'm looking for my lighter to light my candle and I'm not finding it. Um she'll at least lay on her dog bed or something. Mm -mm. No go. Um at least now she's laying on the pillow. And we were so worried about her. And I even got Brian in here. And I'm like, can you check doors out for me? And he's like, Mama, I'm a volunteer fireman. <laughs> Why you ask me to do these things? And then I asked Becca, and she's like, I'm a CNA. I'm a certified nurse's assistant. And unless I can take her blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a vet. I'm not a vet tech. I'm like, well, crap. Um, but even Brian made the comment, she don't look good. And I'm like, shut up. So, but blessedly, the next morning we got up, and Becca's like, oh, she's fine. She was cutting up and playing in my room last night. And I'm like, okay. Precious Jesus, she's good. Um, I am just now... It is 10 after 9, after I turned the camera off, I did finish my coffee. I've got to sit down for a second. Blessed be the shower chair, okay? Um, it's not in the shower, I have to put it in there. Um, where was I? I just have gotten myself up out of my chair. I got the reading my little devotional book. Um, I'm still reading my Blessings for Women that one of our great subscribers sent to me. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button. And um, if you are subscribed, whether you are or not, hit the like button. Every like that we get, the thumbs up button, it pushes our videos up to where it will go into other people's feeds. Um, and so that way we could get more subscribers. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to grow. We're trying to grow. Um, like I said, I'm just now, I mean, there's no hurry for me today. I don't have any appointments. Ooh, I don't have any treatments. I don't have any therapies. Batman honestly told me just to stay in bed today. Um, yeah. And I'm like, no, I've got things I've got to do. It occurred to me the other day of our cruise is like literally right around the corner. I still have not, we have not booked excursions. Uh, Becca has not paid her rent yet. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of her paying her rent, I'm just going to get online. And I'm going to book our excursions and let her pay for that. Because it would be what she would... Oh my goodness, what she would pay. She's going to book, um, I'll make her pay for the Cozumel excursion. And then Brian owes us from some car repairs that we had paid for him. So I'm going to make him pay for the Yucatan um, excursions. Like I said, that's the one we're all going to break off into different we are not going to let the girls be by themselves. Batman is going to go with Becca tubing and the cave swim. Um, I am going to be with Carol Beth. We are going to take the easy bus route tour. <laughs> I think I told y'all about that before. We're going to do the cultural, um, easy, um, like see how they do school, see how they do church. Um, and then what? We'll finally wind up at the Mayan Temple. Everybody will eventually get to see the Mayan Temple. Um, just at different times. And then we'll all meet back up at the, the ship. Um, 
pray that that goes well. We knew not to let either one of the girl. well, Carol Beth definitely couldn't, um, but not to let them do an excursion by themselves. Yeah, no. Um, so, I think that's what I'm doing. I think that's been part of my, my concern. Oh, crap, we got to get these excursions booked we've got to get we don't have the money to get them booked you know we we paid for the trip we don't have the money to get them booked go make the kids pay for it cut and dry they owe us money anyway so there you go there you go um and then i can concentrate on logistics as far as like Luggage and how much luggage can weigh. I mean, I know they've got limits on that stuff. I've got to get online and print out. There's actually a thing that we can print for Carol Beth being autistic and for me being, uh, I, I know to go ahead and plan for having my walker with me. Fat man said, take it. I'd rather take it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, so, there are things that we have to put into place as far as, and we will actually, A, we actually get to book early anyway, not book early, board early, because we are in the grand suite, um, we get to board early, but with Carol Beth being autistic and me being handicapped, we get to immediately get the front line on the land. So, yes, but anywho, today, what I got to take care of today, like I said, I worked on a to-do frog list um, last night when I crawled in bed, I was try trying to get sleepy. <laughs> it's 9.15 now in the morning. I'm getting rolling. I've been up since, I don't know, when did I get up? I am actually going to, I gotten this a while back. Can you see that? From Aldi, everybody had been talking about the hydrating facial cleanser and then the La Cura Q10 Day Cream. I wanted something with SPF in it. Yeah, now you can see it. And this anti-wrinkle girl. I got so many bags and wrinkles. I look like I came out of the dryer after a six day hold, you know what I'm saying? But this is supposed to have um says plus several times a day. For a clean face and neck, massage gently into the skin. Ideal as a makeup base. Apply several times a day. Now, if you got on makeup and you're reapplying this stuff, ain't you gonna have to reapply your makeup? I'm just saying, not that I wear makeup, but I did want a good. My face is getting so dried out. Used to I had oil. I was oily, what they called the T, the T zone. I remember this. My T zone was oily. Um, and that was back in the day of the Neutrogena stuff. Yeah. Um, but we've got the Aldi. So I think I'm going to take the moment. I bought it a while back. I've used it maybe twice. Self care. Self care. Care. If I don't get, take care of myself, who will? That man. That man takes care of me. The girls do. But yeah, as far as I think maybe if I started making myself do things, even just the little things as far as simple as washing my face, doing my nails, um, just doing those little effort Maybe I'll make myself feel better. At least I'm, I'm hoping that that's what happens. So, I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to do my moisturizer. 
I'm going to get dressed for the day. We're going to fake it till we make it, y'all. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, I've got, I've gotten dressed. I'm going to see if I can do something with this mop of a head. <laughs> Mufasa! <laughs> Mufasa! Kind of does look like a Mufasa thing going on, doesn't it? But see how whenever I take it down, it's just, it's curls. Um, except like right, right where I pull it back. And then that is what, yeah, that kind of matches. These come in handy for, ta-da. So, technically all I have to do in the mornings is take it out of, y'all, I kid you not, they start out really small, like a little keychain. You know, things that go in your, but they sell in the hair section. I think I got like three, three of them at Walmart, fairly cheaply. Um, best thing in the world for a ponytail holder. That is supposed to be the only ponytail holder. That, and then these, um, Jennifer Scott, hey hon, Jennifer L. Scott, um, from Daily Connoisseur had talked about the Velvet Bows scrunchies. And now, and that and the headbands, the padded velvet head. Honey, you started to trim because now everybody's wearing them. I'm just saying. Um, you should get kudos and credit for that. She had talked about, she had gotten the inspiration from um, Kate Middleton. And she did start the trend, but Jennifer L. Scott brought the trend here. I'm just saying. Um, I am soaking my teeth cups. Usually what I do if I soak them in here, I just do a couple of squirts of whatever kind of soap, hand soap. Right now we've got the Mrs. Myers Honeysuckle. And then I do a couple of squirts of um, hand sanitizer. And that kills any kind of bacteria that might be growing up in there. Yeah. So, I'm just going to let those soak. I do have to come back and do the bathroom. I have not made the bed yet. Um, Carol Beth has finally gotten a dark hallway. Sorry. Um, I have just kind of gotten dressed. I put on a skirt. A shirt and an apron so I can get this craziness a rolling. Um, Carol Beth finally woke up. That little stinker slept till 9 30, but she was. See, the thing is, I cannot raise my legs up high enough to get my shoes on. Oh, yeah. Especially my right one. I just, it is so swollen and it is fluid. Becca did check that and uh, Tasha, my infusion nurse, had checked it. They said it was edema um, and it's just where you know fluid builds up and I'm on enough fluid pills. I shouldn't have fluid build up but I do. Anywho, um, Carabas slept until 9 30. So yeah, we all evidently needed some oh, time. She is sick to death of waffles and cinnamon toast sticks. So, I had promised, um, I don't know where any of my lighters have made off to. I was going to light one of my candles in here. I'll just turn on my warm thing. I've got my warm center thing. And I'm trying to do these. I got the these from um, Aldi. I got my little mason jar thing from Tractor Supply. And these little wax melts I got from Aldi. And they do not smell near as good as the wax melts that I had from Tractor Supply. And even Walmart. 
So I'm going to add one more to that and see if maybe adding one will help. But my face feels so much better since I did wash it and I put that uh, moisturizer on it. Baby girl, like I said, she is sick of waffles and French toast sticks and cereal and cereal bars. So I'm going to make, she does not want bacon, but I do. So I'm going to make some bacon and eggs. So the only time she gets it is when her mama makes it. Um, ooh. So I'm going to make me. Uh-oh. I hear Miss Tootsie Toots' alarm going off. Becca's off today. Uh-oh. Phone ringing. Might be. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody about a job. <laughs> or at school. Yeah. <laughs> but Jennifer honey from Daily Connoisseur. I am trying. I'm trying. Uh she talks about and then Nikki, inspired by Nikki. Hey hon. Um they talk about your appearance affects your attitude. So I'm trying to see if my appearance will help my attitude. I don't think so. Ugh. My refrigerator, every time I open it, it's like this just salt in a wound, I tell you. Alright. I'm getting this going. Miss Becca, are you awake? Yeah. Do you want bacon and eggs? Yeah. Or bacon, y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna Get breakfast going for us and the girls. It's brunch, technically. We're brunch people. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're going to have some brunch. And then we're going to get some crap done. <laughs> okay, kind of a quick, I don't know, update. Touch base. Make me feel bad about a hat and dumb what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found my list of things I wanted to get done and needed to get done and yeah my goals my goals for the day and I even took our menu plan off the um, refrigerator if you knew from my Walmart haul of how we did a monthly menu plan as far as like suppers and tried to figure out like enough stuff for um, breakfast and lunches except for like produce um hey baby girl here's Miss Becca Boo she's off today what do you want to say boo nothing, nothing. okay um but I haven't actually made them on the nights they were supposed to be made like last night was supposed to have been um, baked potato night. Nobody wanted baked potato night. I didn't even want baked potato night. But I sure didn't feel like cooking. So we had, um, I had down two times a frozen pizza. So we just did frozen pizza. Didn't want baby, baby girl. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tackle my list but we are already at almost one o'clock in the afternoon ask me what i've gotten done so far on my list um i uploaded the vlog i should have uploaded wednesday that's what i've accomplished on my list here's miss doris hey doris bed still not made yeah we're getting there Okay, 
I found my blanket, the one that originally, my comforter that originally was on there. We had taken to the dry cleaners. I have not taken it out of the bag since we got it home. So it's good, clean, fresh, ready to go on the bed. And in the process, I found the raccoon. It, for those of you that are new, Brian would have the raccoon make random appearances. <laughs> if you go back to the other vlogs and look, you'll be able to see where he's kind of like the gopher from Caddyshack. <laughs> if you ever saw the raccoon, you knew it was Brian. <laughs> So, I found him. We're going to dust him off. We're going to give him a place, probably on the table or with my tiered stand there in the microwave. I don't know if he'll fit up there or not, though. Usually, he sat right next to the green truck. I need to pull him down and give him a, a spot to sit. Technically, he's supposed to be like maybe a, oh, it's a candy jar. Um, I actually got it at Walmart last year. Yeah. Yeah, Walmart. I thought so. I was going to say Dollar General, but it was Walmart. If I find it again this year, I might get the, yeah, Walmart. If they had the fox, I might get the fox to kind of pair along with them. Yeah, I want to say last year they had the, the raccoon and a fox. This does not have a price on it, of course, but any hoozles. All right, so I can at least get that off my list. And that was actually on my extras. It wasn't on my list up here. It was on my extras down here. I mean, I am just vowing I ain't getting near that refrigerator. Okay, change bottom sheet. Um, I got a bag of that cheese. Pay bills, clean up desk, clean out freezer, clean out fridge. Hmm, those are high aspirations, aren't they? I've gotten... Two things done. I uploaded that vlog and I've changed our bottom sheet. Two out of eight ain't bad. I'm <laughs> oh, seriously, I might have to go sit back down. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, and I might let this be the last little tidbit before I end this. I don't know. But if you do have like a, a summer... Whew, yeah, I might have to go sit down for real. I'm getting that back spasm. Um, if you have like a... Oh, I'm going to have to sit down. If you have like a um, winter, summer comforter, blanket, quilt, whatever, seriously consider of taking it to the dry cleaners. You're talking, what, twice a year if you got a summer one and then a winter one. So you're talking two times a year of getting it dry cleaned. And getting it put in a bag and ours has like the breathable bags but it's like a moisture you know you don't want I've never understood the vacuum seal bag because if yeah I don't know I don't know to me it needs to be kind of breathable um that way it doesn't for whatever reason mold mildew whatever um, I took the quilt, yeah, we've got like a lightweight quilt that came with this set. It's in that tan color. Um, I took it out of our closet. It, we just wash, we just machine wash it. It had like that stale smell, um, you know, where it just been packed up for a while. Um, so I've got it in the dryer with the dryer sheet. If that doesn't alleviate the problem, I'm going to pop it over in the washer and wash it real good. Um, but yeah, we've got our real heavy winter comforter. It's still up in the closet. We haven't had to use it in two years. Because it just has not gotten that cold. Um, this set, I actually got an Aldi. Yeah, Aldi. You got the sheets, the blanket, 
the quilt, the shams, the pillowcases, the whole nine yards. I think it came with sheets. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it just was the quilt, the shams, pillowcases, and the comforter. Maybe that was it. Any hoozles. Well worth the money. Because this is going on the second year we've had this booger. And it is held up wonderfully. Um, yeah. Um, and I will take and pop it in the dryer. Just to kind of fluff it up. Get the thump. The whatever out of it. I'll take it. I'll take it outside and shake the hannies out of it. It will not fit in our washing machine. So that's why I take it to the dry cleaners. Um, and a lot of your nicer comforters, anyway, our big heavy winter one. Um, yeah, it was 30 bucks to have this one dry cleaned. Our heavy winter one, I want to say the last time we had it done, it was only like maybe $22. So they've gone up. But um, that's neither here nor there. Ugh. I'm trying to get the tape off this bag. But yeah, and they put it in the bag for you. So, to me, it is well worth having it done. Just something to consider. Um, I'm going to put this bag. I'm worn out, y'all, just by doing that. Yeah. Oh, and I was going to say, what are we doing for supper tonight? We're doing nacho taco night. It's nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, my sweet heavens. And this is me not on my lunchtime meds. Oh, I did miss my lunchtime days. Oops. Why do you think you're having flare-ups, Miss Roten? I don't know. You checking your medicine is prescribed? Okay. <laughs> I don't. Well, A, I can't take my lunchtime dose if I'm going somewhere. Um, it uh, makes me so groggy. Got to find the other one. Aha. This is the magical combo it's supposed to be. Yeah. You want to know the truth. The only thing it does is it makes me sleepy. But I wake up in my sleep. I wake up from my sleep, I should say. Having spasms. So it's not keeping the spasms at bay. Just saying. Because if, if I'm having muscle spasm so bad, that wakes me up out of my sleep. Yeah, something ain't right. Okay, let me get this put up. The bottom of my closet is yet another day. Today is not that day. Um, the top of my closet is not today. It's another day. Yeah, today isn't that day. All right, so we're going to take lunchtime meds. Now, I've seen it. I got proof. I'm going to turn out this light. I'm going to blow out my candle. Yeah. Yeah. Blow out my candle. Um, so bed changed and made. Woo woo! Yes, and if you're wondering from the Capu incident the other night, yes, that bottom sheet got snatched off quicker than Ulysses S. Grant said, let's go. Um, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Water. 
of Taurus in charge. Right. We need to find a good spot for Roger the raccoon. See, I've got so much fall up there right now. That's just gonna be a bit much. So I need to find another spot for him. Um, we're still in the process of um, doing fall decor. I might bring him in here somewhere. Oh, we got Fox family we need to put somewhere. So, I think he might go in here. I got my blessed basket. Yeah. I think I'm going to do something with this area, and that might be something that we show. That might be our project for tomorrow. File up this. This is usually... That man built this for me for my um, Christmas village. We're not decorating for Christmas this year, y'all. Are we, Becca? No Christmas decorations. Um, if anything, we will let Carol Beth do her Christmas tree in her room. Um, yeah, we'll let her do her tree in her room. I might do um, one tree on the porch. Of course, everybody's already talking about pie party, and usually that is the one thing that they all look forward to. Get some, they say, get some ready for the season, and in the spirit, we had this house just thrown up with Christmas stuff. I used to put up six trees. Um, Count the outside trees there. I also had trees on the screen and porch. Every room gets a tree. The bathroom usually gets a little tree. Carol Beth's room has a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Tinsel garland the whole nine yards. Not this year. For those of you that are wondering, we're going on a cruise. A much needed vacay. We haven't had a family vacation since the tornado. Um, 2009? Yeah. No. Becca, when was Brian hurt in the tornado? Uh, what? No, 9. 2014? I think so. I think it was 2014, 2012, 2014, something like that. Um, was our last family vacation. So I've got that one ringlet that is way long. I cut my hair the other day. And so this one is way longer than anything else. Yeah. Um, so, but anyhow, much needed vacay. Much needed vacay. Um, so I might decorate this for fall. Like I said, he made it for my Christmas village. Um, She's watching YouTube videos. It's not porn, I promise. I'm learning about friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets. I almost sound like porn music. It's not porn. I know it's not porn. That's why I'm telling them, baby girl. It's not porn. Um, go ahead. I've done moved. Okay. Yeah, baby, she's a sweet girl. She wouldn't do nothing like that. Look at the fish. Um, again, she is single. Young Christian men, um, ages 30, 30, yeah, 30, 35. She needs an older man. She really does. We've always said that. She is so mature in some regards and then immature in other regards. Talking about you need a more mature man. You need an older man. Um. See if I can find that odd hair. I'll cut it. Uh, so I sat here and did the other night. I was. 
picking out the odd ones. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's longer than anything else. And I'd snip it off. Okay. Yeah. So another thing on my list, off my list. I didn't bring that lighter. Dead burn it. Afternoons, oh, Monday afternoon. Lord have mercy. Yeah, that went quick, didn't it? It is still Friday afternoon. I'm my sweet Annie's and stars. I've been looking at my calendar trying to figure out what day. Y'all, I almost made the biggest uh oh. And the Lord, the good Lord looks out for us, doesn't he? Amen. Um, I finally got a chance to get online and start looking at like cruise rules of how many suitcases can we have. I knew that there was a limit of like size for carry-on. Still didn't remember it. I'm trying to figure out how to print all that mess out. It won't let me print any of that out until I have everybody's information logged on. Well, they've got us all listed. And they've got the room where it's four or five. It's all for, for all five of us. I found one of my good head, hair bands. This is what it looks like when you buy it. The, the ponytail holder. Wonderful. Anywho, um, they've got all five of us listed. That wasn't a problem. Um, they did mark Carol Beth as autistic. So... She will have special accommodations as far as um, boarding. They'll let her board. Well, they said because we've got the suite anyway, we get to board early. And with my walker, um, we'll get to board early. And with her autism, she will actually get to do a lifeboat drill thing with a smaller group. It's not going to be like when everybody on the ship does it. Yeah, because that was awful. I mean, that was... I don't know if anybody has ever done that before, but... Yeah. Anywho, um, got that done. I've just been kind of sitting here. I was, on, like I said, online doing that. Trying to figure out what's what and what we can do. And y'all... Big Mama was so glad that she did because I had an uh-oh moment. Like I said, the good Lord looks out for us. I never, out of all the stuff I'm worrying about and trying to make sure that we get done and do and have in place. And we decided that we're just going to do the girls' birth certificates and their ID cards, their photo ID. I would say driver's license. Becca's is a driver's license. Carol Beth's is a non-driver's driver's license. A uh, photo identification card, state of Alabama. And it was looking, it asked for what is going to be her use, you know, for boarding. And I got ready to mark driver's license. And I happened to look at hers. It expired February of this year. Girl, we would have boarded that ship and they would have booted her off. They would have booted that baby off. <laughs> oh, my land of living. 
I didn't know it expired. And I've been making her let me have possession of it. Because every time we would go somewhere, if she needed it, oh, I forgot it. Or I didn't bring that purse. Or I didn't know I needed it. So I'm like, Carol Beth, just let Mama keep it with hers. So I keep it with mine. And it expired. Oh, my stars and hannies. So luckily, we still have a letter that our family physician typed up stating that she will never be able to drive like lifetime never be able to drive and our understanding unless the rules have changed in the state of Alabama if you are told that you will never be able to drive you get a free photo ID because we had to pay almost 40 bucks for this one it was more expensive for a non-driver's driver's license thingy I don't know what else to call it non-driver's driver's license non-driver's photo ID maybe I don't know anywho it was more expensive than actually paying for a driver's license same so, never mind it looks the same well hers goes this way where ours goes that way that's the only difference hers is vertical ours is horizontal yeah but I'm so glad I looked guess it's gonna be at the DMV come Come Tuesday. Court, well, no, we can't do it Tuesday. Doris has got a vet appointment at 9, and I've got physical therapy at 1. We'll be in Birmingham Wednesday. I've got gamma treatment Thursday. So it might be Friday before we get to see the DMV. I'm just saying. What? Isn't life wonderful? <laughs> so, I think this is where I'm going to end today's vlog. I have rambled on long enough. I've got a headache that would whew, break Dracula. I tell you what. I'm looking at my to-do list. I'm going to put a little check mark by cruise info. I did get started with that. I've never bagged up that cheese. My main frog. I hadn't gotten to. How y'all doing? <laughs> I need to get up off my honey right now. And go bag up some cheese. I don't want to get up right now. <laughs> My head is about to split and kill me. Even Carol Beth came in and asked, How's your headache? Okay. I told him, even you had come in and asked for Tylenol mm -hmm. that you had a headache. Yep. She got a special request from Grady. How you doing? She got a special request from Grady. And Grady has watched your video that you sent him over and over and over. <laughs> he loves his Carol Beth. Can you tell him hi on here? Hi. Say hi, Grady. Hi, Grady. There you go. I was going to say, say his name. Yeah. He loves Carol Beth. And Darian does too. Can you tell Darian hi? Hi, Darian. There you go. Well, all right. Well, I'm glad your headache's better. Mine's gotten worse. I know. I think they need to go out. I was listening to my classical music, sitting here with my lit candle. It does smell good. It doesn't it smell good? This is that Glade Cashmere Woods. She got it at Target. Actually, though, it is. Yeah. I was talking to him about it earlier this morning so and tonight we are having nacho tacos I've got taco rice I took out of the freezer and I've got some hamburger meat that I'm just gonna kind of brown up add to it and boom there you go nacho tacos so 
adjust your bows, tie your aprons, smile, fake it till you make it. Ooh, how pretty. I'm assuming that is like a tulip field in Holland. They show the prettiest pictures on like our, it's like the screens over for the TV. But they don't tell you where the picture's from. It just says Google featured photos. But they'll come out with some just absolutely gorgeous geographical locations. It looks like one of the pictures that Miss Mary took in. Yes, yes. Miss Mary, a lady at our church, her daughter is living in the Netherlands, and she had a photo that looked very similar to that, didn't it, Carol Beth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anywho, well, all right. We're going to leave. Uh oh. I check. We're going to leave on that note. Adjust your bows so not too tight. Might be causing the headache. Like right there. I don't like it. <laughs> y'all have a good night. And I'll see y'all next time.